reviewing the new Caroline products. So I have here six of the new products. I have the Diamond Dream Highlighter, the Skinny Mascara, the Soft Suede Lipstick, the Glow Getter Palette, and the Multi Pot, and one of the new shades of the Lip and Cheek Tint. So if you want to see what I feel about these, the pros and cons, just keep on watching. So on my face, I only have the Brighten Stick and also a concealer. So now I'm not going to put powder first because we're going to play with a cream blush. So one of the latest products of Caroline is their Multi Pot. This is in the shade Magic Spell and I think this is the lightest. If you're wondering, I bought all of these products in Lazada. As in, I scroll lang ako through Lazada. Tapos na ito ko. Ay may bagong products yung Caroline. And most of these hindi pa nagre-release sa store. Pero I think three of these nagre-release na yung multi pot, a mascara. I'll be showing you later, and also their suede lipstick. Since I ko na to sa Watsons, I swatched all the three shades. They have this one. Uh, Magic Spell, which is sort of a peach shade. Um, head over heel. Sana yun yung kinuha ko, pero kasi online ko lang binili. So, yun. Um, for me, gusto ko yung head over heels kasi it's like a um, dark mauve red. Yung Abracadabra, it's a bright red, just like my Sunny's face. Ito. Ito yung Sunny's face ko. So, buti na lang hindi yun yung kinuha ko kasi na sobrang similar siya sa disco ng Sunny's face. Yes, we notched ko siya yesterday. So, Yun lang yung naalala ko ngayon. Pero ito yung tatry natin ngayon, yung Magic Spell. Oh my gosh, it's so creamy. It's not as pigmented as the Sunny's face. Pero gusto ko yung um, texture niya. Gusto ko na super soft siya. Okay, what I'm noticing is it's not as pigmented as the Sunny's face. Sobrang light lang niya. Medyo nakaka-disappoint. Pero, the shade is nice. It's super natural. Okay, this is buildable. Pero, yun nga. Medyo sheer siya. I guess, this is perfect for beginners. If first time mo makatry ng multipot, tapos, um, baka takot ka sa shade. Mukhang intense siya dito, pero ayun lang siya sa cheeks ko. Wala siya masyadong kulay. And they released new shades of their lip and cheek tint. So, I'm gonna try this on my other cheek. This is in the shade Pink Blossom. Um, isa lang ulit binili ko kasi gusto ko nga nang itry yung formula. For the multi-pot, peach siya. And yung cheek tint natin, it's gonna be pink. But it's okay kasi I'm just gonna stay at home. I just got home from school, actually. This smells so good. It smells like... A fruit or candy, I'm not sure. Okay, sige, try na natin to. Okay. Akala ko magiging bright siya kasi tingnan nyo naman, mukha siyang red sa tube. Pero hindi. Okay, kailangan na natin blend. Okay, super blendable. And parang same sila ng um, sheerness. This one talaga perfect for beginners. I keep saying that, pero kasi Caroline is like for beginners talaga eh. As in yung price point and also the quality of the products. You can never go wrong. Like, even if you put too much of any of their products, parang, um, you still have the right amount of product. You can never go too much. Okay, so sobrang iba ng kulay ng cheeks ko. I prefer this side just because I like pinkier cheeks. Mas gusto ko formula na ito kasi ito, medyo heavy siya sa face. Parang hindi naman sticky pero like you can feel that there's something there. But for this one, it's kind of lightweight. Sobrang magkaiba yung cheeks ko. So, I think magpapatong lang ako ng multipot since mas nagustuhan ko to. Um, actually, let's try this on the lips as well pala. Pero may lipstick rin tayo later. Hmm. Oh my gosh, mas gusto ko to for the lips. Kasi parang kumain ka lang ng popsicle, ganun yung effect niya. Since I do have the Caroline Glow Getter Palette, I'm gonna put loose powder on my face to mattify my face and para ma-cover up din yung 
um, tint natin para magamit ko yung blush nito and we'll see if maganda yung pigmentation. Okay, so nag-powder na ako ng face and gusto ko na sabihin, ang ganda talaga ng cheek tint. For me kasi, miss ko yung matte look. So, maganda siya. It still peeks through the powder kahit sobrang nag-bake ako nang nag-bake para lang, um, para lang maganda ulit yung base natin for powder products. But, hindi ko alam kung paano matitest out yung blush. Sana pala tinanggal ko na lang. Pero, yun, ang ganda niya under powder. For now, I wanna try the Caroline Glow Getter Palette. So, meron silang contour, blush, and highlight. So, parang first time ko lang atang marinig na may, um, bronzer powder or contour powder ang Caroline. So, super excited about that. Sana similar to sa Everbelena. Oh my gosh. Sobrang pigmented. What the heck? Ang ganda. Okay. So far, I, I love this. Pati yung blush. The blush is really nice as well. Super pigmented. Parang middle ground siya ng peach and pink. And then, now for the highlight. Yung highlight parang medyo kamukha siya nung um, Play to Slay palette nila. Yung Play to Slay palette ko, tingnan natin side by side kung same lang sila. Ito yung highlight. Tingnan natin. Okay, hindi. Hindi sila magkamukha. Yung sa Play to Slay, um, mas golden yung highlight. And then medyo champagne yung sa Glow Getter. But... Um, hala similar na siya. First, I'm gonna use is the bronzer or the contour. Okay. Now, let's see. Pigmented. Oh, I'm pigmented talaga. Usually, pag sinawas, hindi ako nagko-contour. Binabronze ko lang siya. Pero ito talaga ko lang kaya brand na sobrahan. Oh my gosh, meron akong bagong favorite bronzer. Hmm, hindi ko lang alam kung paano ko gagawin yung sa blush kasi ang dami ko ng blush. So, maglagay lang ako ng konti. Pero sa swatch naman, mukhang maganda siya. I can't really see the blush on my cheek since... Um, since meron nga akong multipot. Okay, lagay natin sa nose kasi hindi naman tayo nag drunk blush. Ang ba? Oh, okay siya. Okay siya. Pigmented siya. Okay, mas okay ba yung lighting? Sana kanina ko papalabin ako sa inyong ring light ko. Sorry, sorry. Ayan yung blush ko. I don't know if the camera gives it justice. But sobrang pigmented. And I can see there's subtle shimmers. Hindi pa naman ako nag-highlight. So, yung blush niya pala, medyo shimmery siya. So, napapansin ko ngayon yung tint, nagda-dry yung lips ko. So, mag-lip balm kayo if ever gusto niyo gamitin yung tint. Now, we're gonna try the highlight. So, I have two highlights. Yung isa nandito, um, yung sa Glow Getter. And yung isa is the Caroline Diamond Dream Highlighter. So, may highlighter sila and this is cheaper than the Vice Cosmetics one. Kasi yung Vice Cosmetics 145 and this one is 135 only. So, mas mura siya. Sana mas maganda or kasing ganda para ito na yung bilhin ko. Pero ayan, I have two of the highlights. Yung isa dito, yung isa dito. And these are the two products na wala pa sa Watsons. Ito yung pinakabagong release nila. I will be using two different brushes para makita talaga natin yung difference. Ito muna gagamitin natin yung nasa Glow Getter. Pero so far, feeling ko talaga sulit ng Glow Getter na to ah. Kasi $2.75 for 3 products already. Sulit. Okay. Tignan natin. Meron ba? Meron ako nakikita ang subtle shimmer. Okay. Let's see yung Caroline Diamond Dream Highlighter. This is in the shade Glazed Glory. I think they also have three shades. Pero yun nga, hindi ko pa nakikita in person yung iba. Pero what I got is a champagne shade. Ayan. Tingnan ko nga. Hindi siya kasing smooth. Tingnan natin. <laughs> Pili ko magkakamukha lang yung kulay ng highlight ko. 
So, ito yung nandun sa palette. Ito yung nasa Play to Slay. Kung kita nyo ba? Hindi ko alam kung kita nyo. Tapos, ito yung um, Glazed Glory. Okay. Alam ko, meron parang golden and yung isa, hindi ko alam, mas pink ata or mas white, white, white yun. Isang white, isang parang champagne and also isang gold. So, syempre, yung gitna yung pinili ko kasi um, mas gusto ko yung champagne highlights. Medyo hindi ko makita yung differences nila. Tignan lang natin sa cheeks kung mas highlight dito. Sana naman, please. Ang lalagay pa ako. Parang hindi ako satisfied. Parang light lang siya. I'm just gonna wear my glasses for a while. Okay. Actually, maganda yung sheen niya pala. I feel like this is brighter. So, I feel like mas maganda yung sa palette. I still have to test this out more. But I'm gonna add more. And see. Okay. Buildable siya. As in, ayan. Okay. So, compare niya na lang. Para fair, mag-add pa tayo dito sa kabila ng nandito. Pero parang mas gusto ko na yung ganito. Kasi nandito na lahat. So, if gusto nyo lang ng full face makeup, maganda na to. Kahit hindi nyo nabilin yung diamond highlighter. Kasi halos same lang yung kulay, to be honest. Personally, I'm the type na gusto ko talaga yung super glow yung highlight ko. So, for me, gusto ko talaga yung Blythe na Stardust Palette. But, if gusto nyo ng subtle, kasi kung nga for school, usually subtle rin yung highlight ko kapag nasa school ako. I think maganda naman to. So, ito, kung gusto nyo talaga na complete set, meron ka ng bronzer, blush, highlight, okay to. Feeling ko nga, um, kahit pala hindi ko na to binili, ito na lang. Yun, mas maganda to. Ito din, subtle, pero buildable naman. So, ayan, you have options. Sobrang daming products na ng Caroline. Lahat ata hinuhoard ko na. Now, we're gonna move on to lashes. Hindi na ako nag-eyeshadow and anything like that. Um, this is the Caroline Skinny Mascara. Nakita ko din to sa um, Watson's. I think this is 150 pesos. And this one, feeling ko pang bottom lashes lang talaga siya. Hindi siya for your, um, actual eyelashes. Um, yung upper eyelashes nyo. Kasi tingnan nyo naman. Super, yan, super liit ng wand. And, ayan siya. Ito lang yung product. Ito yung wand. Curl ko yung lashes ko, pero... I feel like um, I'm just gonna end up putting it on my bottom lashes kasi nga, sobrang liit ng wand. Tingnan natin kung pwede to sa... Okay, medyo mahirap siya gamitin na for your upper lashes kasi <laughs> ang liit ng wand, parang ang tagal mo matatapos bago ka matapos mag mascara. Pero I feel like pwede ka maglagay ng mascara na regular mascara mo. Tapos, use this to separate them. Kasi, maganda to pang separate. So, yeah. Nalagay ko na yung Fashion 21 mascara ko sa both eyelashes. And, I'll try to separate them. If nakakatulong. Medyo nakakatulong naman yung pagka-separate. So, if may problem kayo sa separation of lashes, pwede naman to. Pero, um, <laughs> don't just buy it for that. Kasi, I don't think that's the purpose of them. If gusto niyo yung nagmamascara sa bottom lashes, tapos nahihirapan kayo kasi ang laki ng wands ng normal mascaras nyo, this is the perfect mascara. I don't know lang kung smudge proof siya. Okay, tatry ko na sa bottom lashes. Super dali yung gamitin for bottom lashes. Ako ayoko nagbo-bottom lash mascara kasi Ang hirap. Pero, ayan. Finally, meron ako mascara for your bottom lash. I'm gonna charge my camera and finish up the mascara. And I'll be right back. I am back. Okay na yung lashes ko. Okay na yung face ko. And now, we're gonna move on to the last item. Which is the Caroline Soft Suede Lipstick. So, so far, nagugustuhan ka naman lahat. I'm gonna tell you my final thoughts in a while. After we try the lipstick. But I just want to show you na yung lips ko sobrang dry na. I don't know it's, if it's because I put powder on top. But parang nagpipil na yung lips ko. 
I think it's because of the tint. So, yeah. Kailangan mo talaga mag-lip balm if you use the tint. So, this one naman, um, I think they have five shades. I'm not sure. But I just got the shade Icon. This is one of the nude shades. I think mga nude to reds yung shades ng lipstick nila. I really like the packaging. Again, it's yung minimalist, simplistic, Caroline Soft Suede lipstick na kasulat dito. Tapos, better than basic sa kabila. Okay. So, ganyan kadami yung product. It smells like a normal lipstick. Mmm, creamy. And maganda yung shade. It's um, a brownish nude shade. And so far, I can tell parang hindi siya transfer proof. So, the shade is a yun nga, brownish nude, pero leaning towards um brown. So, it's kind of different from the types of shades that I usually wear. So, that's good para may iba naman, di ba? So, ayan. For me, it does kind of accentuate my dry lips just because I lip tint ako before applying this. Tapos sobrang dry na nga. So, yun nga. If gusto nyo mag lipstick or mag lip product, make sure to moisturize and um, exfoliate your lips first. I really like the pigmentation. Maganda siya. Moisturizing siya. Um, I guess meron nga siyang pagkasuwid na, um, what do you call this? Yung texture. And it's just, I feel like it's just a normal old lipstick. So, I guess that's all the products I have to show you today for this new from Caroline. Yan, ito lahat ng pinakita ko sa inyo. These are six products. Ayan. So, for me, I think one of my favorites is the Glow Getter Palette. For sure, magagamit ko to ulit. Gusto ko gusto yung multi pot kasi lang parang sobrang rare makahanap ng murang multi pot. So I really like this. And also the um, Caroline Skinny Mascara. These are my top picks for this video. Kasi super just love the pigmentation of the Glow Getter palette. I also like the multi pot because buildable siya. Sobrang mura niya. And it's rare to find like a really nice cream blush. Kahit hindi siya yung super pigmented. Uh, mas gusto ko pa din, to be honest, yung Sunny's face kasi sobrang pigmented. Pero for the price, feeling ko kahit yung multi pot ng Caroline okay na. Yung skinny mascara. Gusto ko din kasi it's super rare to find like a makeup brand who does um, mascaras for your bottom lashes. Kung gusto ko ng mascara for my bottom lashes, ito talaga yung go-to ko. Magiging go-to. So hopefully it doesn't smudge because it's late. I really can't test the makeup anymore. For the other three, these aren't bad. I don't hate them. They're just not like something I would reach for a lot. Okay, so that is it. I gave you both my pros and cons. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I helped you a lot. And if you didn't know my bagong products on Caroline, now you know. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you like it. Comment below if you have any other suggestions of what to review or what other video suggestions you want to see. And please subscribe to my channel. I post um, Wednesday and Saturday. I'm still gonna try. We'll see. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Bye! Thanks for watching!